Well, let's get back to uh, what we were trying to show there before the uh, little interruption by our amazing little three-year-old. Um, camshaft timing and how you can affect uh, one of the critical things for a race engine is when your intake valve closes. You know, it's, uh, it's somewhere around halfway up the bore. And so that seems counterintuitive because, of course, the piston is, is pushing air up. And the earlier you close the intake valve, the more of that charge and compression pressure you're going to hang on to. This is not the same as compression ratio. Compression ratio is a mechanical thing set by the geometry, the structure of the engine. How big is the bore? How big is the combustion chamber? How much you squash that charge of air? But you can have an effect on it from the outside after your cam is timed. Let's see if we can show what we were trying to do here. Switch hands here with the phone. We've got this cam uh, set just past the intake uh, lobe. So right now zero represents the base circle of the camshaft. So if we back this crankshaft up, in other words, opposite the direction of rotation here, and see as we come backward, we see that we come off the base circle. Let's take it up to the specified clearance for this cam, 18 thousandths on the intake, right about there. And if we measure this, 78 degrees after bottom dead center in the normal direction of rotation. Now I backed it up to come up the backside of the intake uh, camshaft lobe. So here's where we have the valve closing with the way this cam wants to be. And look at that, 78 degrees after bottom dead center is the spec from that. I showed that screen with the laptop, the specifics uh, for installing this one from MED. But let's say that we have a lot of compression. Let's say that our engine shows a really high compression pressure um, for the you know, camshaft selection, whatever. Let's say we'd like to lower that a bit. So what happens if we set our clearance at 12 thousandths instead of 18 thousandths? 12 is more of a stock number. And you know, you're really not gonna see these things expand that much. You're not gonna lose your clearance if you set it to 12, but it has an interesting effect. Let's back this up here and see. Now we're at, this is where we were at uh, an 18 clearance, 78 degrees. Let's continue and make the assumption that we're gonna set this to say a 12 thousandths gap. So if we continue to turn the engine the opposite way, there we went the right way. Let me grab the bottom here. Come up the opposite way. Let's back it up. There's about, you know, showing 11, 12. Look what happens. We go past 90 degrees after bottom dead center that the intake valve is open. So all is not lost once you've set your cam timing. Um, if you want to have an effect on the compression pressure, you can still do so with available adjustments.